Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm going to do a, another little swipe today. Um, just got loads of colours that I'd previously made up several days ago that I'm going to just randomly um, put onto this canvas. It's a six. It's a sixty by thirty centimeter canvas. Um, just double check that I've got it all in the frame and I'm trying to speak up a bit louder because um, it's told that you can't hear me I think it's when I use my iPhone so okay I'm just gonna as I said use these random colors that I've got left I'm thinking of um, a person that did request these colors Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do anyway, I'm just going to finish off some colours. The pouring medium, I'll put my card up, what, I, what my pouring medium is the Elmer's Glue All for this particular, all these paints. And um, the paints that I've used today are, some of them are Byron paints. Oh, I said I've got those cups too close. Move them out the way. Some of them are Byron paints and some of them are um, global paints. So because I mixed these all up several days ago, like just a great big load of paints, um, and all of them are with my pouring medium that I just make up myself, which is the um, Elmer's, 70 percent Elmer's glue all with 30 percent water added. So. This one, this paint's gone a bit thick because I've had it in this container for a little while now with the lid on. Um, it's not, not that thick, but it's a little bit thicker than I probably would normally use it. Uh, just gonna uh, pour these colors randomly on my canvas. Okay. That is random, isn't it? But there you go. Okay, this one is, it is turquoise. Uh, this one is, oh, this one's global turquoise. Um, as you can see, it's not thin, thin. It's kind of like a consistency of a, a pouring cream. Uh, go for it anyway. So I'm just doing this um, randomly down the canvas today. Okay, we've had so much rain here in, I'm in Australia, uh, in Queensland, Australia. Paradise on this earth, I believe. And we've had a really wet winter, which I've always found that in Australia that weather in winter is quite dry and we get all the rain in the summer but um, it's not been that way this time. No. Even though I am going to swipe all the way down on this canvas I like some colour underneath my swipe colour too so the, I'm going to do this one now randomly. I don't need to go, because I'm actually going to swipe down that way. So I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom because all these colours will be dragged down. Okay. I may just put, I've just got this little bit of crimson left that I make up myself out of the, um, oh, well, just the blue. What's the darkest blue? I can never, oh, it's the warm blue. Warm blue, and I had red to it, just a blob at a time till I get the, um, but it com comes at a really nice, deep, lush colour. I'm going to just put a bit... So just that gets rid of that. I 
I usually find when I'm using up the bits of paint I have left over, I usually don't video it and you can bet your life that those always turn out the best ones that, that when I post them on my Facebook art page, you know, people are saying, have you got a video for that one? And um, I don't, certainly don't do videos for every pour, as I would have hundreds. So that was, that particular colour was um, pearl white. And this one's a gold. Just good, as I say, I'm just using up some leftover colours, but I think I'm, as usual, way over the top with the colours that I need. So I'm not gonna really add any more. Okay, so I'm gonna just tilt this a little bit, not too much. If I don't get the sides covered, I'm not particularly worried because I can um, use the runoff paint to touch up the sides. So I don't get freaked out about not covering the whole of the canvas. Take it down a little bit. Probably just basically running some paint off because as always, I always use too much or put too much on. But lucky that I don't have, when I do, they do dry, they don't dry with cracks. So that used to happen to me at the beginning when I put too much paint on. Uh, um, obviously, um, that's not happening too much now, so. So. I'll just go around the very edges and anything that's not gone over the edge just use the run over paint doesn't matter finger pop it because once I've gone over with the swipe tool you won't notice any of that I don't freak out about the sides because there's so much runoff paint that you can use your fingers to you don't have to use a tool in fact, it sometimes comes a lot better looking with just your fingers. If you don't like the look when it's finished of the sides, then you can just paint the sides one of the plain colours. That's absolutely fine. Okay. Just making sure I got all my sides covered. But like I said, if you don't, don't freak out about it. Take your time, because it's always something that you can go over when it's dry with one of the colors. Just give my hands a wash. Okay, my camera had stopped, so I'm not sure when it actually stopped. Um, I needed to plug it in because it ran out of battery, so I'm not sure how much you missed, but we'll continue on, see how we go. I just, um, just leaving that for a second or two. Now, this is the dilemma. Do I swipe in yellow or do I swipe in blue? I'm just wondering if I can, I might try half in the blue. If I really like it, I'll continue. If not, try the yellow. But I'm going to swipe in navy. As anybody that watches any of my pores will know that I very rarely swipe in just black or white. In fact, I hate that. I like to swipe in other colors. Okay, my swipey tool. You'll get much better and consistent results if you have problems with 
uh, paint muddying if you swipe instead of a uh, dirty pour. I found because the colors don't mix so um, don't muddy up so much. So this is my tool, the plastic vial divider. As I said, I'm just trying, I'm gonna go all the way down with this, just taking it slowly. Probably color will run out bef well before the bottom because this is uh, 60 centimeters, but I'm not gonna stress over that because it will still come out looking gorgeous. I think I'm gonna be happy enough with the blue on this one. <laughs> or should I just try? Okay, we'll do an experiment while you're with me today. I'll swipe the other half in this bright yellow so you can decide which side of the work that you prefer when it's finished. I'll say it's just a little bit at the top. I always put colour underneath my swipe because I don't like that thick line of colour at the top. I like other colours to come through. So it's just my, my thing. Okay, we'll try with this yellow. Just take it nice and steady. So this is 60 centimetres long, so it has got to drag a long way, but that's okay. There's so much paint on there. Don't worry about that bit or if you, you I just touch it over with the, I don't get any special tool. Okay. <laughs> Actually, from my side here, it looks like sort of a beach and a greeny, blue ocean and then sky with some stars in it so that would make quite a nice painting to embellish so okay that's where we're at at the moment i just put my swipe tool in the wash which is the great thing because you can just keep using those um over and over Ooh, looking pretty actually like it with the two swipe colors. All right, I'll get my trusty butane torch. Uh, it is a big scary torch and I was frightened to death to first use it, but I just gained a bit of confidence and did it slowly. Uh, as you all would probably use one of your little brulee. If you're using these, they're obviously not uh, so fierce as a butane torch, but I've, you could still do the same. Uh, what I call is my clusters is just up and down using your torch very quickly. Don't hold the torch on your work because you'll set it alight. So this is a very big, scary butane if you're not used to it. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go directly. It'll be interesting to see what the yellow swipe and the blue on the other side. See, if you put color underneath where you start, you swipe, you'll get that come through and, and it'll leave, alleviate having that thick, which I don't think, you know, ugly line through it. So, coming up pretty spiffy Ooh. yeah I definitely like the darker because that's actually um, outlining the cells beautifully the yellow up the top end is really nice too but where the yellow has, has run out down the bottom but yet yeah, this is early days because this will develop and the cells will pop through as I leave it to dry. And because this mixture, again, is not too runny, I mean, not too thick, these cells I want to spread. I don't want them kept in clusters. I want them to spread. They create a whole different look on your work than the normal. So that is, it's gorgeous where the colors run out more um, 
paler that's obviously a more softer look to the whole work but here's more dramatic I'll try and give you a close-up but yeah that's I'm really pleased with that so there you go doing two different color swipes it adds a whole new dimension so you see those beautiful cells gorgeous but they won't stay like that I'll obviously post pictures tomorrow as it's drying they'll spread out you could embellish that if you want to balloon kiss it you see some of my other videos with balloon kissing and that's a lovely effect but I actually really like the twin uh, the twin colors for the swipe so twin twin colored swipe Okay, thanks for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel um, i'm also on facebook not so much on instagram but if you want to ask me any questions more likely you will get an answer on my facebook art page which is called jilly cube acrylic art thank you for watching